It's stunning to me too is the lack of transparency of this hospital. And I mean, I'm not here to bash the hospital, but you know, I'm you, you all are putting your lives on the line, and and you're putting your lives on the line. And there are other hospitals out there that are desperate for information because other hospitals could make these same mistakes and need to learn from what happened here. And this Absolutely. hospital has just been silent. They have been silent until you really come forward. And I mean, that's why I think what you're doing is so brave. This, this hospital has remained silent in the face of, of all of this. They've said virtually nothing about what has occurred inside there, about the real mistakes they made. They've apologized generally, but they haven't gotten specific and the specifics matter to help other hospitals out there. And, and ultimately, I agree with every word you said, and, and that's, that's why I'm here. I am so tired of hearing their explanations that don't mean anything to anyone. I'm tired of them blaming the nurses for being sick. I, I'm, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it, and I'm not taking it. Those nurses are heroes, and I, can, I refuse to continue to hear them, you know, in any other light, and I'm not going to. If, God forbid, you tested positive, and obviously you're monitoring yourself now, would you go to this hospital to be treated? I don't know if I can legally refuse, but I would try. I, I, would, I would do anything and everything not to be a patient there. And, and it, I told this to someone else, and it's not because I feel that a facility, another facility would do a better job. I have a wonderful, jo I have a wonderful hospital. It's because of what I saw there and what I actually know to be going wrong in there. And I, and I just, I would be sitting there feeling like I could be contaminated any minute. If I didn't already have Ebola, that I may get it by being there, by having doc uh, a doctor cross-contaminate between patients, by having an incompetent infectious disease infection control department, uh, by having incompetent CDC leadership there. Absolutely. They promise. They promise to be transparent, and they promise to put their employees' safety as their number one priority. And I feel lied to, and I know so many other people that do as well.